quick reminder today to not take things in life too personally, especially if you're doing your thing like online in front of hundreds, potentially thousands of people, or even if you're just doing things like in public, in real life that are, you know, that somebody could judge. Don't take their words or their criticisms too, too closely to heart. Because for one, especially if it's through like a screen and if it's on the internet, these people don't necessarily know you. They're going off of an impression that they get from you off of like through the screen from the however many seconds they've viewed your post or however many seconds or minutes they've watched your YouTube video. And the thing is like, especially with YouTube or something like that intimate, maybe even like especially even something like Twitch where it's a live stream, you know, those those people in the audience, they kind of somewhat feel a right to think that like they that act like they know you because of how much they view a lot of your time. And that that's honestly pretty true because like I think on Twitch it's a little bit more real and authentic because it's literally a live stream where, you know, you can't really edit out, edit out all the mistakes like I just made right there. So something like that, maybe it's a little bit different, but it's still the same that you don't really know who that person is. They very well could be putting on an act for the camera because they know that people are watching them and you have to kind of be entertaining if you're gonna be pursuing that kind of a lifestyle. So, you know, I could very, as much as I appear to be, you know, this, I don't know, philosophy thinker and person who's trying to come up with new ideas, or maybe you view me as somebody that's not coming up with new ideas in the self-improvement space, but however I make myself appear on these YouTube videos, I could be completely different in real life. I could say that I'm going to the gym every day, I'm meditating, I'm journaling, I'm reading, I'm coding every day. But, you know, once this camera turns off, you don't know what I'm doing. It, what if I'm just, you know, jerking off all day and going, going to the club on the weekends? Like, that's not my life, but, you know, I try to be pretty authentic and real on camera as to my personality. That's why I don't really do too many, like, I'm not like super hyper in my videos. I don't have too much crazy editing to try to keep your attention glued to the screen. It's just me kind of talking. And I used to try to put up an image where I would edit, edit out all the mistakes and stuff like that. And if I'm not happy with a cut or with a take, you know, I'll definitely change that to try to get my message across more clear. But that's like the main point of it. I'm not trying to impress anybody or do this for anyone really other than trying to like help people that's that's the whole goal but you know i haven't i'm i've been very thankful to not experience too much negative negativity in this space i think in self-improvement in general most men are all like along the same kind of path so it's important we recognize the importance to support each other and have like like a brotherhood kind of thing where you know people aren't always necessarily not saying that nobody in the self-improvement space is toxic or trying to tear others down but for the most part i think people are more willing to be kind in this space and you know supportive and pat others on the back for doing what they want to do with their life because in a lot of other types of niches they have that problem where it's a very diverse group or even sometimes it's more toxic than not and more negative like spewing more negativity than than positivity which i would not want to be in a community like that where most of the people are negative but i think that is pretty prevalent in something like like gaming maybe because there's like not everybody in those kinds of niches is, is always the friendliest person and people in that kind of industry are like quick to 
lash out with like comments and insults and stuff like that if you've been around during like the the modern warfare two days that's kind of what i'm talking about so anyways you just can't take things really to heart because in the end these people like that are either bashing you online or they're they see you in public for a little bit and then they bash you for doing whatever you're doing or they're making fun of you or something like that you can't really take these things you can't really take these people too seriously you know it's something that i'm going to be having to expect gonna have to build up some like tougher skin i have decently tough skin just from my experience in the real world but not that i was like not that it was anything crazy that i've gone through to experience that but I try to be objective with a lot of my opinions on things and not really be too emotional when I'm making my decisions on how I feel. So that's kind of the video is just keep that in mind. If you're receiving any types of comments or anything like that, just don't take it too hard or don't take it too seriously unless it's like, you know constructive criticism i think that's a very good way and there's a difference between constructive criticism and being just a dick you know being a dick offers no real solutions whereas constructive criticism it calls you out for something that you're doing but also offers some good advice on you know either how to fix it or how to improve so feel free to leave some constructive criticism down below. But yeah, stay on target. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.